I was always one of those children that I did a lot of stuff on my own. I was quite happy just to sit in my room for hours on end and it was always sort of like, where's Sophie? What's she doing? Oh, she's drawing. It's fine. Just leave her. I'm Sophie and I run Grain and Knot. Unluckily, I graduated right in the middle of the recession, so we were sat down and told it's going to be really difficult for you to get a job in design right now. We'd started to notice a lot of handmade things coming into the foreground a lot more, so we noticed that Instagram was being used differently. It was a, a real push for it being used for small businesses. Just chatting to one of my colleagues, I, I said, oh, I'd love to learn how to make these. And she started telling me about this company that you could go on wood carving workshops. I just really responded to it. It was just nice making something useful. And so I carved obsessively for about a year. I'd have a rubbish day at work. I'd go home just, you know, doing something I wasn't massively into and I would come home, sit down and carve a spoon. It was almost like therapy. I could just, I was like, I can go in tomorrow now. It's fine. I can carry on. A year or so after I started carving, I got made redundant. And rather than start looking for another job, I decided to give the wood carving thing a try. I started approaching small independent retailers. So rather than emailing people, I sent out loads of packages so I'd send out a spoon to someone just saying hi my name's Sophie this is a spoon I've made it <laughs> I've always sold stuff online and everything I make is so tactile and you just want to touch it and I've never really had the opportunity to invite people in to see the things I make to physically pick them up and to feel the weight get an understanding of the materials so Having a space where people can do that, it's just brilliant. The opening night that we had was really lovely to get all my family and friends down and people that haven't physically seen my work in person for a while. By having everyone in one space, being able to sort of celebrate the work that I've been doing for the past few years was a real turning point. For me personally, it's been five years that I've been doing this now, so by getting everyone together and having a celebration, was, it's been brilliant. One of the things that was definitely a turning point was starting to teach. So I, I'm teaching workshops while I'm in store as well, so as, as part of my idea was that while I'm in the space, not only am I working and continuing to make items that I will sell in store, it's just great to be able to teach others and pass on my skills. When someone finally does get the spoon to how they want it, it's so satisfying for me as well as them. So it's really, yeah, it's great to see. The thing I'm most proud about is seeing my name on the sign outside. It's something I've never had before. So it's so special and just, an amazing opportunity.